All right, well, I suppose let's look at this matchup with Wolfsburg. We got to talk about uh, Wolfsburg, uh, well, mainly about Arsenal, because again, once again, it's it's their job to do Wolfsburg. Obviously, obviously already have had Arsenal's number. Uh, we did mention that they did knock them out in the quarterfinals last year. Um, Sophie, how do Arsenal approach this first leg? Do they kind of play it safe, just try to survive, and then really throw the kitchen sink at them when it's back to, at the Emirates in front of a packed home crowd? I think so. I think that's the best option, especially with the injuries they've got. We know that Steph Catley returned to the pitch against Manchester United. We're hoping, we're thinking Caitlin Ford might be an option, but you've got players at sort of different degrees of fitness. You're going to have a completely reworked midfield because that was Leah who was filling in for Kim against Manchester United when she picked up that injury. So again, you've got a big, big presence missing from midfield. I think there's tinkering needed from Jonas Edeval. So it will be just try and get in, try and defend. Don't give anything, Wolfsburg, anything easy to go out. And then, you know, try and make your mark at the Emirates. But also, English teams have a dreadful, dreadful, dreadful record in Germany. I think it's 17 trips to Germany in, in, in Europe and one win. One draw as well, but just the one win in Germany. Um, it's, it's the cliche tough place to go. I think if you get out, with a, a small deficit or a draw that's massive and you can take that back to the Emirates when players are a little bit fitter, when you've had a little bit of time to work on stuff. But it's going to be a tough one. It's going to be a big, big one. Well, much like Chelsea, um, it sounds like a depressing chat for Arsenal. But, Tom, obviously we have to face the reality of things. It sounds like everything, Wolfsburg have everything to obviously come away and make their spot in the final a sure thing. But Arsenal, uh, what do they do? Or is this feeling like a step too far as well? What they'll definitely take a note of what Wolfsburg did to Bayern Munich in the in the German Cup last weekend. Wolfsburg winning five 0 I mean, that's pretty ominous, I think. Um, and of course, Wolfsburg have got a couple of players in the team who played for Arsenal as well. So there's there's a lot of lovely little subplots here and there. And there's um, you know the likes of Oberdorf and Pop and these sort of guys. I mean, they know what it takes to win these sort of matches. And I think for Arsenal, as we said earlier, their resilience has been so impressive this season. And they have, you know, they got that that Conti Cup win. So they have got um, the nous in the team. But as I think as So says, if they can come away still in the tie with it going back to the Emirates, then that's a bonus. And I think that's something they should probably aim towards, keep it as tight as possible, um, restrict Wolfsburg, and hope that they can then do the business back, back in London. All right. Well, there it is. Alex Pop, what an absolute queen. Absolutely got a lot of time for her, but of course, Arsenal definitely will have to find a way to kind of keep her quiet and the rest of them indeed. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.